Well, previewing this weekend's big game between NMU and Michigan Tech this morning, Samantha Rivera is in Marquette learning how the Wildcats are getting ready for the Huskies. Good morning, Samantha. Good morning, Vicki. Well, yesterday we give you a little taste about what to expect from Michigan Tech for the big game this Saturday. And we actually spoke to head coach Steve Olson, who told us he's confident that his team will come out on top. But today we're actually switching sides, talking about how the Wildcats will pair up against the Huskies. And again, as a reminder, Tech is coming into this game, standing at 2-2 two two after their big conference win against Saginaw Valley, winning 28-24. And again, Northern is also coming off of their own big win against Davenport uh, after their home coming game winning 24 to 14 and in just a little bit here we'll be joined by color commentator and former TV6 sports reporter Dave Ellis to talk to us more about the big game that he'll be calling this Saturday reporting live in Marquette I'm Samantha Rivera TV6 News all right thank you very much Samantha and again a reminder about what's going to be going on with that big game of sports programming change to let you know about it our sister station simulcasting the well, this morning we're heading back out to Marquette. Samantha Rivera is talking about a big football rivalry coming up tomorrow with our color commentator Dave Ellis telling us more. Good morning, Samantha. Good morning, Vicki. Well, again, Tech is coming into this game, currently standing at 2-2, two and two, while Northern is 1-2. and two. And both of these teams uh, have been uh, winning some really big games. And here with us to talk more about it is color commentator and former TV6 sports reporter, Mr. Dave Ellis. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for being with us. No, it's my pleasure. Always good to be back in the UP. Yes. So yesterday we talked to Steve Olson and he told us about some of the standout players like Johnny Williams, Travis Tidwaller, but he also talked about some of the challenges that they anticipate like Jake Mion, who uh, was the GLIAC Offensive Player of the Week. What can you tell us about him and some of the other secret weapons that Northern may have? Sure. 247 yards in one game. Uh, that's pretty impressive. I don't care who you're playing against and he's definitely the real deal. Both of the tailbacks for these two schools, Jake Mayon for Northern and John Williams for Michigan Tech. They're ranked 11th and 12th in the country in yards per game. So you got to guess this is going to be a ground game. There's not going to be a whole lot of throwing out there because both quarterbacks for each team, you're talking about guys that are breaking in right now. Jake Brown from Michigan Tech, it's his first year. Ryan Johnson's just in his second game for Northern Michigan as a true freshman. So it's a big ask for him to come up playing a rivalry game like this. But I'm sure he's ready to go. Kyle Nystrom said yesterday that uh, his guys, he's been trying to reel them back in by the end of the week because they're so excited to go up and play this game. I think Northern Michigan's really, really putting a lot of emphasis on this one. Whether the coaches will admit it or not, yeah, it's one game, but it's a big one because it's against a rival. Definitely. And earlier we were talking about how this game is known to come down right to the wire. What can you tell us about that? Boy, I, I don't think there's any other rivalry in the country that can say the last three times that we've played this game, the final play is what determines what happens. Three years ago, right here in the Superior Dome was a field goal at the buzzer. Michigan Tech won. Back in Houghton two years ago, blocked field goal, the last play of the game. Tech wins again. Then in overtime here last year, they went all the way to 51-45. So if you're watching this game on Fox UP tomorrow and thinking, well, it's the third quarter. I can tune off. I've seen enough right now. Don't. <laughs> Stay around. Wait till the end of the game. These two always fight it out. Doesn't matter what the records are. And by the end of this game, they're going to have some kind of a battle. It'd be too much to ask to have one more finish like that, wouldn't it? Yep. Well, maybe not. No, we're <laughs> going to have to see tomorrow. Yeah, definitely a game that you won't want to miss. And so we have to talk predictions. Who do you think is going to walk away with the Miners Cup? Oh, you're going to put me on the spot, yeah, huh? You know, know what? It's uh, I mean, Michigan Tech's won the last seven in a row between these two teams. But uh, as Northern's coaching staff has put it, we weren't here for any of those. And Northern has put a lot into this week of practice. Uh, I'm going to flip a coin and say, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if you put me on a spot right now, I might say Michigan Tech, but yeah. I may change my mind by tomorrow just because they're so close. All right, maybe you'll you'll uh, make up we'll your see. Mind in the yeah, next one. Maybe All right. I'll walk. Okay, well, we'll be back to talk more about this game in just a little bit. Reporting live here in Marquette, I'm Samantha Rivera, TV6 News. All right, thanks, Samantha. And again, want to let folks know about that sports programming change tomorrow with our sister stations. We'll be signing. TV6's Samantha Rivera is at the Superior Dome in Marquette learning more about a big game coming up tomorrow morning uh, or coming up tomorrow evening rather between NMU and Michigan Tech. Joining Samantha this morning is Dave Ellis uh, telling us about the big game. Samantha? 
Good morning, Vicki. Well, as Eric has been saying, all morning you can expect some beautiful weather down in Houghton. And you can also expect to see our sports reporter and anchor Seth Wells and I shooting some uh, footage down there. So if you see us, make sure to come over and say hi. And with us this morning again is Dave Ellis. Hey, Dave. Hi, Samantha. How are you doing? <laughs> good, good. So this is the fourth year that Fox UP is covering yep. this game, right? It's been a lot of fun. The Fox UP and TV6 have been so generous to, uh, to be able to get me back up in the UP and be able to do these games and to be able to show people that haven't had a chance to go to a Tech or a Northern game. What it's like to, to see what the arena is like. And I think a lot of the people that have watched our games on TV have then in following weeks gone out and said, hey, maybe this looks pretty cool. Maybe we'll go out and go give it a try too. So it's great for the TV audience and I think great for the schools too that it really gives them a chance to showcase what it's like in that environment when you can come to a game yourself in person. And you mentioned you are a native Uper, right? Uh, What's yeah. that been like coming back home? Uh, there's nothing better. I, I love crossing the Mackinac Bridge going northbound rather than southbound. I grew up in Calumet, still have a house in Eagle Harbor. And to be able to come back and be with my people, you know, this is the right peninsula. My daughter all the time says, there are two peninsulas, Dad. There's an upper and a downer. And I'm <laughs> definitely in the upper right now. It's always great to see all the people back here. Always well received when we come back. And uh, there's nothing I'd rather do than spend time in the UP. Nice. And you've been covering this game for a long time now. What can you tell us about the crowd and the atmosphere? Oh, it's going to be great. Sherman Field is one of the best places to watch a football game. If you haven't been there for one, you've got the hillside, you've got the trees in the back. It's one of the most picturesque places to watch a football game. And you've got Tech and Northern together. What could be better than that? It's going to be a beautiful fall night. I encourage everybody to come out and watch it. And if you're someplace like Iron River or Newberry or Menominee, yeah, join us on TV. You might want to watch it and see what's going to go on, especially late in the game. We know this is going to be a fun one. Uh, earlier in the last half hour, you couldn't really decide between which team. I'm going to put you on the spot again. Who are you going to say? Twist, yeah. twist a little more. <laughs> like, I, did, oh, I said Tech last time, so I guess I should say Northern this time. But you know what? I'm just, Vicky, you make the pick for me. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to make any kind of choices. It's Vicky's pick. Whatever she says, I'll go with that. All right, Vicky, putting you on the spot now. So, guys, make sure to watch this game. It's one that you won't want to miss. Reporting live here in Marquette, I'm Samantha Rivera, TV6 News. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait until the game is done. Then I'm going to tell you who won. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Oh, okay. I know, All that's right. the way I pull. All right, thank you, and we'll catch up with you later on. We do want to let folks know about a sports